Greetings, this is Paul the Pope from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, uh, Revelation. Sardis, hey, uh, remember me, said Jesus talking. Scripture references out of Revelation 3, verse 3, part A. Remember then what you have received and heard. Keep it and repent. And a lot of verbs, and that's going to be the focus of this uh, discussion this morning. Uh, remember then what you received and heard. And there are three verbs in the initial part of this verse, and this is an appeal to mental faculties. One, remember or keep this information in your brain. Don't forget it. Second, the believer in Sardis received or lombano in the Greek, and lombano means to take without the notion of violence. To take what is one's own, to take to oneself, to make one's own. So it's to claim, procure for oneself, to associate with oneself as companion or attendant. Uh, and so when you're hearing these, be thinking about what it is we've been given. And the idea is a person has taken possession for themselves and it does not need to be done again. So with once and for all. So you, you took once and, it, and, and the item belongs to the individual. And the procurement has binding results moving forward into the future. So what is claimed is eternal. And lastly, the information was heard. The person understood what was being said. There was consideration of the message. The message was received and comprehended. So what is the focus for the folks at Sardis? Was salvation through Jesus. And he's offering the gift of eternal life. And he's telling the church he is the object of their attention. Now the order of the verbs in the verse above is the opposite of our introduction to Jesus. Now typically at first a person hears the good news of Jesus. And then second they have an option to reject or receive the free gift of salvation. And lastly a believer in Christ is to remember what it is they've taken for their possession. So all that's being done here is it's, you know, instead of... Uh, heard, received, remember, Jesus is presenting it, remember that you received and heard. And so what, you know, so what are people to do with the gospel message of Jesus? Well, keep it and repent. And keep in the Greek is tereo, and it means to attend to carefully, take care of, to guard it. And it's a consistent mental attitude. And keep or tereo is a present tense verb in the Greek, so it means to continually keep, always keep, and it's a matter of lifestyle. So always protect and pay attention to our eternal salvation. And lastly, uh, repent if there are some sins hanging around in your life. And this is the seventh of eight times the word repent is used to the churches in Revelation. Change your mind and make a change. Get the junk out of your life and stop it. So if you're interested in this topic, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com, keyword, revelation, sardis, Jesus, repent. Uh, thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.